For me, rhythm is very much an individual thing. We all copy the beautiful swings of Fred Couples and Ernie Els, and that's because they make the golf swing look so effortless. But rhythm is very much a personal imprint and copying the pros is so dangerous. You want to have your own rhythm and your own way of moving. Tempo for me is another thing. Tempo is the glue which holds all of the positions together in your swing and it can easily come away from you. I'm on the 15th hole. It's a difficult little par three. I'm coming to the end of my round. I could be in a tight match. I could be about to make my best score. There's lots of danger out there. There's four big bunkers and you start to get a little bit of anxiety happening in your swing. Now you can only have one point of acceleration in your golf swing and I'm going to talk today about three different killers from anxiety. The first one is the one that you know where you've got a lot of tension, your hands feel funny and you kind of get that very very jerky start. An excellent little practice swing is just to start the club head here. Start the club head on the other side of the ball so that you can feel how smooth that takeaway is going to be. Make a few practice swings, focus on that and that's a great way to stop that sort of very quick and jerky start. Another area in your swing where anxiety can kill you is the change of direction, the transition between the top of the backswing and the start of the downswing. And if you're a little bit stressed out and you've got a tight game going and you get that sudden jerk from the top and you're rushing it down, for sure at impact you're going to get into trouble. So a great little practice, get to the top and stop and then swing through. So the practice swing you need to do get to the top and find that pace of swing, the tempo for your movement. The last thing that you should try to do, you make a swing, you're a little bit anxious and you don't quite finish in balance and you're trying to force it and steer it down there. Concentrate on finding a feeling to hold that finish. Hold that finish in balance so you feel like the weight is on your left heel, your hips are fully rotated through, right side's overtaken left side and you've committed to complete the swing. So, take that anxiety out, you can make a practice swing starting ahead, smooth that take away, stop on top, find the feeling to come down and hold that finish in balance. So 15th hole, We've got a good round going, there's lots of trouble out there, and tempo is my key. So the key is to be able to recognise when anxiety is affecting your game. Remember those three keys. If you can't really get the club head away from the ball, make a few practice swings starting with the club here and smooth that takeaway out. If the transition feels a bit rushed or jerky, a couple of practice swings, stop on top and then start the movement down. If you feel like your game is getting a bit steery and you can't really finish off your swing, make a few practice swings out on the course, holding that finish. You've committed to that shot and hopefully that will get you from here into the clubhouse with a good score.